Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Engetopia, the only city where making architects live on an island surrounded by a moat filled with poo isn't just legal, but it's encouraged. Now yes, this is my city skyline city, completely inspired by engineering. Because as some of you know, I am, or at least was, a civil engineer specialising in highway and drainage design. And I've always liked to incorporate my knowledge into games like City Skylines, like this super efficient highway layout. Well, this interchange that relies heavily on strongest shape principles. And of course, this spaghetti nightmare and- wait, no, no, I'm not gonna try and blag this one. This was just because I got a little bit power hungry. But it's not just my highway knowledge that I've included in Engetopia. We've used raw sewage to create infinite power and building a thousand meter tall poop chutes to encourage tourism via boat tours of Architect Hill. Now yes, we have had some hydraulic mishaps in the past, including a few run-ins with tsunamis and turtle waves. But today I wanted to try and redeem myself by continuing this Atlantis-inspired area, yeah, because now we own all the tiles, so we can actually move our network of pumps. <laughs> there's, there's quite a lot of these. Yeah, to drain this entire lake, hopefully. That is the plan, meaning the city down here could well be twice as efficient. Yeah, but before we get into that, I'm just going to head over this way, because do you remember I built all these bridges? Well, something I realised, we never did a bridge review. So today it's time for an Angetopia first, a bridge review. Now this is a world first multi-bridge review. We'll be reviewing all of these in one because these bridges, whilst unique in their own way, they actually act as a hive mind of bridge. So whether you want to be stuck into traffic trying to cross the bridge, or whether you're the type of guy that wants a three lane motorway all to yourself on your little moped, there should be something for everyone. Now we've got massive cable stay bridges that are so strong they can support a helicopter flying straight through them. Or you might be more of a trust guy. Perhaps you even like like arches. Well, there is literally every type of bridge for you in here. From straight, diagonal, and even curved bridges, Engetopia literally has it all. So I'm going to give Engetopia a bridge rating, despite there being a fire down there, of 9.1 out of 10 bridge review. All right, so first off, before we get started on our Atlantis area, let's just quickly go into the normal view and we'll see how many warning lights there are, if there's anything major we got to deal with. Uh, there's a few baby Yodas about. I'm not really sure what they are. Citizens are sick. Okay, well, last time I built a row of churches, so we should be fine if people die. I mean, I'm pretty sure we got a hospital in there. There's, there's got to be one somewhere, right? Oh, yeah, there's loads. Look, all these purple things, they're like medical places. But why are the people of Arolith Avenue? Why Why are you sick? Why, why are those houses red? Ah, I think it might be because it's polluted down. Why is it polluted? What's caused the trees to die? Is it you? Very strong shaped building. What are you? You're a crematorium. I guess you're allowed to pollute into the atmosphere, but surely you're not causing all of this, are you? I tell you what this might be. This might be where we had the Poonami last time and we did have a bit of a poop leakage. Oh yeah, because I, I built this hole in the, in the sea defense so that we could drain some of the poo that was flooding our city. Uh, water levels have dropped significantly though. I'm guessing all these pumps are actually doing the business. In fact, they've dropped so much. There's like, I think that's a shipwreck. I've nearly, I've nearly uncovered that. Let me, <laughs> I want to see what's under this. All right, we don't raise shipwrecks here. We lower sea levels. So let's just connect these up. And oh yes, there you go. Perhaps it's got treasure on it. Yes, I've been watching a bit too much Discovery Channel recently. <laughs> All right, nice. I don't think it's like a Spanish Armada carrying treasure or anything. But if it was, it'd probably look something like this. Yes, desk reveal and face reveal again. No, I mean, that's just a mirror. That's just a mirror. So yes, my million sub special merch is available. We've got this mug, which is awesome. Look how cool the design is. If we move my keyboard out the way, we've got mouse mats of all different sizes. So all the images on here, they all reference like my channel. So we've got Paddy down here. We've got the beavles crossing the road. Gold dam. We've got the gold dam. And if you're not interested in the mouse mat or the mug, we've also got a poster. Look at this poster. So yeah, go to realcivilengineer.store. Go check out my million sub special merch. But let's get back to the video. So we're probably just going to leave that. So main job of the day is over here. We've got to continue expanding Atlantis. Now you'll notice Atlantis is very successful. It is thriving. It's very green down here. And I think we owe a lot to the layout of the city. That has really, really helped us. Yeah, there's literally, there's like no warning lights down here. We do have, we do have a bit of garbage. A bit of garbage piling up. But you will notice these are at the end of the balls. So perhaps if we were to link this all up. 
that should allow like through traffic meaning garbage trucks they can they can get these on their way without having to turn around etc because they'll come down here they'll take the rubbish back up this path down to these incineration plants which don't have enough water well yes we must use our real life drainage knowledge to connect these pipes up the warning signs are gone the garbage trucks are leaving and so we've made the atlantis area of engitopia much happier but now we need to move on now one thing i'm unsure about is how these dams work this is what we have holding the water back we have a large dam now i know to make electricity water is higher on the back level and i think it sort of comes out the front of this like down there somewhere and the bigger the level difference the more power you make so if we head over to our infinite poop power area you'll see as water drops we're making electricity but we do have to bear in mind the water will come out of this grill thing down the bottom so i don't think it's sensible to completely remove these pumps from there i think what we might have to do is sort of make a loop around the middle i don't know what's going on there either because so you can see there's water like coming up from somewhere unless that is actually coming from this it's just we've pushed it over with our pumps don't know not entirely sure but i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna keep building pumps and then we'll delete like the ones at the back that we don't need so as we progress forward and move this like shoreline back should anything happen should it fail we're not going to risk these people that are all living down here because this is we're doing this safely we're an engineer we wear a hard hat like this bird so we're doing things properly right so into pumps we go right to the end this is a modded one that i downloaded it's the super water pump you can see it's pumping capacity is pretty large nearly two million meters cubed a week and we're going to press Control a to turn anarchy on now it used to be quite simple to know if anarchy on because with bird he would go from a normal bird to a rocking bird however because he's wearing a hard hat it just makes him disappear so if i want to just turn him back to a normal bird just for a second i can show you what i mean so normal bird and if we press Control a we have the metal anarchy bird so anarchy is just a mod that allows you to build anywhere so what we're going to do we're just going to place a load of these along this shoreline all the way so they meet the end of the dam so we've got something like that we then need to connect them all up using this a water pipe so if we just literally click on the back of all of these and then quickly go through and connect each one to a pipe and then that is enough that these will turn on so if i press play you'll see in a second all the water will be slurped up nice and then once we get a new shoreline we press pause and we build again and at our new shoreline and if you just connect them all together with pipes then press play we get to watch the whole process again oh that's nice and dry repeat again and again and again until eventually all the water's pretty much gone except for this area up here although maybe maybe we can push this back hang on we'll do four more pumps there and then we just wait and see will it get pushed back yes yes <laughs> Hello there. Whoa, what have we done there? What have we done there? Oh, no. Okay, that is the downside. If you have a pump that sort of clips through the wall even slightly, uh, you create a rippling effect which can have catastrophic consequences. So I am actually going to delete that pump. Because look, you can see this tidal wave is heading back. Oh, no, we're, we're going to flood. And if it ripples back here, some lives may be lost. But the good news is everything else seems to be dry so now if we start from the back we should be able to work forward gaining ourselves space without losing any resistance to the water that is trying to get it oh man it's why is it so ripply oh there's still there's still one there clipping through ah get rid of you get rid of you all right let's let's start deleting some of these now thankfully we can use the move it mod to uh, select buildings meaning we can sort of go like that and then press this bulldoze button and boosh they're gone i'm then going to delete these ones back here and this is the only bit i'm worried about is power still connected yeah it looks like we're fine as long as these are connected to these buildings down here we should be good oh ooh, ooh, although why have you guys turned on i'm not sure there's definitely no water down there so let's just keep deleting so we'll delete you guys delete you and you and then it's just a question of how close can we get to the shore without there being a breach of water like i think last time i had four rows of pumps for safety that seems a bit excessive if i'm honest but at the same time should there be an overflow because look it is it's rippling big time up this end it's because of you what are you doing there all right delete that delete that okay this rippling is very dangerous it's nearly taking out the helicopters in the sky <laughs> look at this guy oh he's gone underwater whoa <laughs> 
Has he crashed? I, I think he may have crashed, right? Ignore that. That didn't happen. That didn't happen on my watch. All right, so can I delete, like, those? Because look, we're gaining so much land, so much space where we can build. I just really don't like how choppy this water's gotten. But let's see. Can we delete some of these ones back here? That is going to be the real test. So if we delete those, is any water going to breach the dam? Oh, no, look. Well, actually... What's that? Where did you come from, puddle? Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn you, choppy water. I thought you stopped being choppy. Okay, so we, ha we have a slight breach of the dam this end. Uh, hopefully, it should stop soon because it's only... I mean, there isn't any extra water in there. I'm not really sure why it's doing it. But let's see. Will these pumps sort of work? Yes, yes. It looks like they're pushing the water back. And then as the overflow slows down think we're good okay yeah i feel like the pumps we have there they're sort of they're going to be essential for now i mean we might be able to move them back later once this lake has stopped being so choppy but i think for now it's sensible to leave those there and then we'll build our engetopia now in terms of road networks people are connected via this magnificent interchange uh, they come along here they go past the helicopter tours there <laughs> There's, there's a lot of helicopter tours that happen here. It's very popular with the uh, with the younger generation. Yeah, but then people get to this point and they come down and into the Atlantis area via this road. However, I, w I think it'd be quite nice to get people using the dam road. So yeah, the dam road is going to be it's going to be trafficked. Hopefully it won't. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is the slight downside with building under sea level. We've got a little bit of trouble here. Right. Let's just press pause. Let's we might need some emergency pumps. All right. Come on, pump. Pumps, pump it away push it back that's it that's it it's drying up it's drying up nicely sort of i'm not sure the bloke here running for his life would agree but <laughs> all right there we go we're good we're good so people down oh man that is a hell of a view up there i'm actually quite envious of the people living down here it's an engineering marvel looking up at that uh, but anyway we gotta we gotta use up this space we gotta get a road down now i was gonna try and do my road off the end of this and something i sort of learned with this game is you sort of you need to do your earthworks first which is similar to real life you don't just build a road and sort of like the land just sorts itself out you have to prepare the land for your road so we're gonna go into this tool Ooh, the landscaping Ooh, and disasters i always get tempted by disasters i tell you what just just while i'm here i'm just gonna make a thunderstorm happen uh, on architect hill this is where my architects live they're gonna they're gonna get a bit of a storm never actually seen how the thunderstorm works so quite intrigued for this one Ooh, that was that was a big old strike a thunderstorm is battering the city oh no oh no everything's on oh no <laughs> i thought it was just gonna Ooh. Oh dear. I thought just Architect Hill would get struck. It seems to be affecting everyone. Oh man, there's planes flying about. Be careful, dude. Oh no. Oh no. We are flooding down here. Hang on. Hang on. All right, pause. Why is it so wet down here? Blooming rain. I, did... <laughs> I didn't realize rain would make it blood. I mean, I did. That's literally what I did for 10 years of my life. But all right, corn pumps, push them back. Push the water back. This is this is serious now. <laughs> Why did I press this button? Look at the lightning. There's so much lightning. Are you sure the helicopter tours should be going on still? <laughs> oh no, the ferry stop is on fire. Oh god. Oh no, it's been struck by lightning. I don't think there's any way that a fireman can get to that. Can I build a fire station up here? No, it's too steep. Oh no, I've ruined my tourism business. <laughs> All right, let's just make a bit of land here. All right, we can fit a fire station in. <laughs> I may have put the fire... <laughs> oh, no. The fire station might be on fire. To be fair, it says it's operating normally. I don't know why the fire brigade aren't doing anything. Oh, man, there's fires everywhere. There's blooming fires everywhere. All right, down in helicopter land. I'm going to put some fire helicopter depots. All right, probably should have cleared the trees first. But go on, guys. Drop water. Drop water. No, where are you going? Wait. Oh, no, they're going to collect poo water. No, don't drop poo water on it. <laughs> No, look, they're going down to collect poo water. Don't do it. <laughs> I don't think you have to put your blades under to collect the water. Okay, okay I've got to trust that they know what they're doing. Yeah, I'm actually very concerned about losing this building. Oh, it's, it's, it's too late. It's gone. Oh, no, one down here got destroyed as well. Not a fan at all of the blooming thunderstorms. But that's connected now. All right, good. It looks like our line does go all the way over to here. Because this was a very important addition we added last time. The sewers canal. But right, that is fixed. That is fixed. Back to... <laughs> oh. Back to down here. Back to building my road. So let's not get distracted by natural disasters this time. We're going to be doing slope terrain. We want to end up at that sort of level. We're going to be building like 
bit of a road. So as you want to end up down here, we're gonna we're gonna just slope up this way. You can see we're cutting into the rock. We're probably gonna have to go a bit wider just to give us the space to get to there. Right. And then it's gonna delete a load of trees. And you might think damn highway engineers always just deleting trees. They think they're better than us, particularly if you're a tree yourself. Yeah, but no, no, look, I am I'm deleting rocks as well. So and with all that done, we can hopefully now get our road in. So I think because we're building in quite a nice little area, we are gonna do a tree lined road. We're gonna head along here and we're just gonna sort of snake our way down. We should end up to the bottom. And if we watch that back, look at this. That is a hell of a road. It is beautiful. And not only is it beautiful, it actually gives access to phase two of Atlantis. Now, we're going to keep with the tree line trees, although we have... Oh, no. We've made a hole in the land. Oh, well. I'm going to try and use, like, curves and things to use up space as efficiently as possible. Because since we literally have to use electricity and pumps and all sorts of engineering techniques to keep the water back, land is at a premium down here. We'll do a road over to here. I'm just on a parallel. I probably should have gone a bit closer. You can see, like, these are where we can, like, paint up buildings in so if we come down here we can literally be like yeah i want some high density down here but you can see there is there's a gap between them i probably should have drawn them a little bit closer but it is what it is and then we come right over to these pumps to really make it efficient and then i'll just link this back up here so it goes up there then we just add some coldy sacks like that some dead ends like this and then we just grab a pipe network make sure we place our pipes under roads because we are engineers and not architects and fill in all these coldy sacks and then we have a very efficient pipe network and we can come down to here into zoning and we can literally just make sure everyone can live wherever they want to. So we're literally just going to paint all of this in high density residential. And then we could just watch as people move in to the new Atlantis. Now I have had some people in my comments on previous videos. They say these sorts of layouts, they're very immature. I think it's because they're the type of people that sort of, they see like objects in other things. So obviously to me, this is just an efficient road layout, but uh, they're seeing, you might find this hard to believe, but uh, they actually saw, like if we turn it this way round, they actually saw a face, two eyes, eyelashes, a nose, and then a mouth down here. Weirdos, absolute weirdos. All right, anyway, I have noticed we've, we've got a bit of a breach of the dams over here. Uh, these people who've just built their houses, <laughs> I'm not sure that barbecue's gonna be much use. Uh, need to try and work out why this happened. Um, also need to fix it. This is, this is the struggles of a real life drainage engineer. Unfortunately, there is just no knowing when a flood might happen or what causes them. The only thing we do know is how to get rid of them, and that's to build loads of pumps everywhere. So, come on, pumps, do your things. That's it. Push it back. Push it back. I mean, I feel like I may have ruined this road by building a massive pump into it. But uh, this person doesn't seem to mind. They've literally built opposite. So... <laughs> They're like, my house isn't going to get flooded. Anyway, come on, pumps, pump. I don't get why do we suddenly have such a breach? Why is there so much water here? Oh, something I have no say. So look, people are using the, the damn road. And to be fair, what a view they have looking over Angelantis. Yeah, that's. I think that's what I've decided to call this place. Angelantis. Oh, no, it's, it's flooding again. <laughs> have my original pumps, like, aged and now they don't work? Disconnected power grid. Oh, is that what's happened? Hmm, they do have power. And if we shove a few more of these up here, will that cause any of these pumps to, like, turn on a bit. I mean, I was sort of hoping as well where I like rip the space time continuum building this road. I thought the water might fall through those gaps, but apparently not. I'm good. I'm glad the ambulances just literally drive through that. But yeah, this is this is less than ideal. Um, I'll tell you what though, I feel like it does give us a moral of the story. And the moral of this story is drainage is harder than it looks. For something that you should never see because it's always under the ground. It's actually very, very complicated. <laughs> And if you don't do it for a couple of years because you started a YouTube channel, you will lose all of your skill at it, I guess. So yes, on that note, whilst I try and hold back the floodwaters, I will say peace, love, and smiley faces. Bye, guys. Cheers for joining. Bye.